Ow, ow. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time, darling. Ah, sorry. Did I get ahead of myself? I usually do that, but let's not mess up the order of things. Look, when you travel as much as I do and do as much precarious things that probably can't be explained by a lot of different ways, you end up in this kind of headspace where you just look at the good of things and you kind of see it. You know, when it looks back at you and it looks gorgeous and... Well, that's a weird thing to say, except for the fact that I'm hitting on you and... Well, look, 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 I'm not trying to be the bad guy here, but if I need to, to uh, capture your heart, then maybe I need to be the bad guy. Okay, okay, listen, listen, I'm not a lost cause, okay? I know it may seem like I am, and you could spin this story a few different ways, but listen to me, listen to me, okay? Okay, thanks, thanks for listening. Uh, you don't need to walk away. Honey, honey, please, please. Uh, <sighs> look, 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 look. I'm not just hitting on you because you're hot as hell. It's actually a lot more deep than that, but I, I don't really know how to put it into words where I'm not gonna scare you off because <sighs> that's not a good way to start, is it? Look, 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 look. I'm not some kind of, uh, of, of weird guy. I'm a perfectly normal guy who's perfectly healthy and probably, uh, uh, sorry, uh, that, that came out wrong. It's actually not about how healthy I am, but how uh, healthy we are probably together, if we could be. I'm oversimplifying this, and we've just met, right? But it feels like we didn't. Is that weird? Yeah, I get that a lot. I'm probably the weirdest person you've met in a while. And I'm not trying to say that that's a good or a bad thing, but let's, let's hope it's a good thing, right? It could be a good thing, right? Right? Yeah, okay, so it, let's go on the pretense that it is a good thing. Um, well, I didn't necessarily come here for the purpose of meeting you. I wish I could say something like that, but I'm not a good liar and I'm not about to start becoming one. So, I've got truth on my hands. You see, I ended up wandering here, just like you, and getting ambushed just like you. That's why we're tied up like this. Ah, uh, don't, don't look at it like that. It's not a kidnapping if we escape before anything happens, right? <laughs> look, I know it's easy to despair in something like this, and it's definitely not the time for a conversation like this. So, uh, <clears throat> gotta get out, right? Yeah, you got places to be. Sure you do, and I don't want to think of what happens if we stay here. Probably nothing good, and a lot of bad, so instead of finding out with that, what do you say we get out of here? Sound good? <laughs> Look, just because we're tied up in, in a place that we don't exactly know where it is, doesn't mean that we're hopeless, per se. I mean, I'm paraphrasing a little bit here, but no, I, I'm not an idiot. It's just, look, if I let you frown, then won't it just be too sad? I know that's a stupid reason that I thought up on the spot, but there's more to it than that. If we get distracted by the negatives, then life's gonna kick us down again, and we'll end up here probably tied up in metal chains. See these ones? These seem flimsy enough, right? I mean, it's just duct tape and... If you wiggle enough, I'm sure I, <laughs> I could slip out and, uh, sorry, nope, 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 not quite. <laughs> Ow, that kind of smarts. Uh, you uh, mind helping? Maybe if we rub our uh, hands that are clad in duct tape, it'll help somehow. No. This isn't working, is it? Uh, okay, okay, but listen, look at me, look at me, right here. No waterworks, okay? You're stronger than you think you are. I can see it in your eyes. And more than that, listen to me, listen to me, yeah? I'm not gonna let anything bad happen. 
bold words for someone tied up and in a cellar like this, but listen to me. I'm pretty good at situations like this. No, you don't need to trust me. In fact, it'd be stupid to trust some random stranger talking out of his ass, but the difference is I'm not quite a random stranger talking out of my ass. I mean, listen, listen, we have met now. My name? Oh, uh, good question. I don't remember. <laughs> well, we'll figure that out too. I mean, names are overrated anyways. I mean, come on. I mean, this personality, you know, my point kind of fell flat. But I don't need my name to know what I want to do. And that is, get out of here with you. <laughs> so, if we're going to do this, we're going to have to maybe break through this it's just duct tape it's just duct tape just gotta convince myself it's just duct tape real quick and wiggle a little harder and yeah i probably look ridiculous don't i but you know it comes with the territory where you kind of have to look a little crazy before you do something crazy right okay maybe like this <gasps> Slipped an arm out. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, um, uh, stay calm. I got you. Right over here, I slipped that out, and... <sighs> Look at that. You're free, mostly. I mean, we, we still got duct tape on one arm, but don't worry about that. I won't let him slip us back in. Now... Let's look at our surroundings. Uh, dark, ominous, and scary. My uh, least favorite trio, but you know what? We have a strange relationship over the years. <laughs> I can remember that much. Look, 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 look. Just because we're in some weird place doesn't mean... <sighs> Sorry. I do tend to talk a bit too much in tense situations, but... You gotta admit, you feel better than if you didn't have someone yapping in your ear who's hopelessly positive, thinking of the best of the situation even though it's probably a lot worse than it looks. Right? Ah, undead all that. Yeah, I have a habit of messing up like that, but you know, if I make it right in the end, then it doesn't matter. So, this is what we're gonna do. See these over here. If the lighting is bad, like this over here goes out, and maybe this over here, I hide the light bulb. <laughs> Can't make too much noise, but if we move these sacks of whatever's in here into where we were and make it look like us slumped over, defeated, sad, then... Wait, do you hear that? Is that some sort of lawn care outside? That means this is someone's house. That's a good sign. Look, 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 look. We're probably in someone's basement. And then someone is probably pretty disturbed or messed up. But that doesn't mean we can't outsmart them. So, uh, hear me out. Hear me out, okay? We're going to get out of here. Repeat with me. We're going to make it. Hey, I mean it. You can't just do that half-hearted. If you don't believe it, then it's not going to happen. You want to know how I know? I just do. You don't really need to, like, look into everything. I mean, credentials are just as fine if you say them and don't prove them, right? I've gotten out of, uh, 10 million such basements that I've been kidnapped in. Okay. That wasn't even a good one, but, but listen, listen. This is not over. It's not hopeless, and the moment that guy gets here, we can bop him over the head. Hopefully it's not like five guys, or <laughs> I always hated that place. But not for the reason that five guys would make it incredibly difficult for us to escape, just because they had terrible burgers, at least in my opinion. I, I don't even like burgers, so maybe I shouldn't comment on places that do burgers, but you know what? That's just me. Yeah, being nervously, because I am nervous. Even if I give off an air of knowing exactly what I'm doing, I'm winging it. <laughs> I mean, I got hit so hard in the head, I don't actually remember my name. You? Hey, I like that name. But aside from introductions, I guess you can call me, uh, 
Uh, S, cause this is gonna be easy as hell getting out of here. I, look, <laughs> I never said I was good at this kind of thing. Just trust me, okay? Just because I'm not the best doesn't mean that I'm the worst. So, uh, I got that going for me for credentials. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, you have anything you want to add to this master plan? Other than the sack people when we catch them off guard. Provided there's only one dude, or maybe someone else. God, I hope it's not so many. If 20 people in hoods walk down here, maybe we use the tactic of shutting our eyes real tight, and then when they least expect it, because they won't be able to see us if we can't see them, we run by them and lock them all in the basement. Eh, it's not really my best plan ever, but at least it's something. <laughs> if they see us though, I guess we're cooked. Doesn't look like it's a cult gathering spot though, so, uh, hmm? Ah, uh, yeah. I guess you have a point. I mean, you're not too pessimistic. In fact, I like that optimism. You're really hot when you're optimistic. <laughs> Sorry, just saying what comes to mind. I don't really censor myself when it comes to people that I really want to be something in my life. I don't even know what my life is, so I don't know if I'd be dragging you into a mess or if I'm some secret rich guy. <laughs> what do you think it is? Maybe that's why we got kidnapped? Oh shit, that's not a good thing if it is. But uh, maybe we get lucky and they all went out for bingo and we don't need to deal with that and there's no such creepy cult having anything to do with this and they just want my bank numbers. Though it'd be pretty bad since they hit me on the head and I don't think I remember my bank numbers. Need the accountant or whoever. Maybe I have like a Batman assistant, some, uh, what was his name again? Look, I don't know comics like that, but I do know that uh, life doesn't usually play out like them. Maybe if we cross our fingers at this, this one time, it'll end up that way. Then it does have a happy ending. Okay, over here. This thing's kind of heavy, so I'm ready to bop someone over the head and... Shit, we need to be a little bit quiet. I think I hear footsteps. No? Maybe not. <sighs> well, either way, it's uh... Nice to meet you without all the duct tape and not moving around. I might not be able to see everything in this darkness, but my eyes adjusted a little bit. And from what I can tell, you are just as hot as I thought you were. I mean, uh, just as respectable and just as easy to look at. <laughs> and it's uh, easy to get distracted when you're nervous, but I'm not that nervous. You wanna know why? Because I feel like when you got something to lose, it's a lot easier to get motivated, right? It's a double-edged sword, but it's one I think we don't really have a choice in the matter. So, um, now that we've met each other as much as we can, between an amnesiac and someone who isn't an amnesiac, I think that, well, if we get out of here, we'll have to, like, Exchange numbers, go on a date, and live happily after ever. Uh, I, uh, I, I said that wrong, but you get the idea, and I, um, yeah. If you thought I was blushing, you're completely wrong. It's not blush, it's just, uh, that's my makeup. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh shit, you got something heavy? Good, you're doing great. Now, leave it to me, and if I need the help, I'll probably be screaming like, help, help me, help me please, you know, something like that. Um, so now that we've rehearsed, it's the main event, and oh god, I think he's walking down. Okay, okay, okay. The sacks are a surefire way. We're getting out of here, okay? It's gonna be scary, and it might be a little risky, but come on. It has to work out, because I said so. You gotta trust me. Just trust me, okay? <sighs> Sorry, 
sorry about that. I mean, uh, that made quite a bit of a mess. But I got the keys. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty resourceful. Uh, don't worry about it too much. It just felt like what had to be done. And uh, am I making this out to be a lot less than it should be? Probably. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> well, come on. Up you go. <clears throat> Look, the blood can wash away, but the responsibility for this falls firmly on his shoulders. I'm going to say we're not to blame at all for being, well, kidnappees and retaliating. Even if I uh, may have been excessive and it was a little too easy to do, it's no need to concern, right? I mean, come on, it's not that bad. I just kinda, you know, smashy smashy, bashy bashy, blood goes blah everywhere, and then, yeah. You, you might be right. That might be more of a cause for concern than I'm thinking about, but you know I should be fine, right? Come on, you can trust me. I got us out of this mess, and get the keys right here, and the door should open. Wait, you didn't even log in? <laughs> He's a total amateur. Well, let's look at what we're dealing with here. Uh, can't really tell from up here, but, hmm, at least there's light in here, unlike the other room. No longer a captive audience for anybody. <laughs> hey, you don't look so good. Not used to seeing someone's, you know, untimely demise I, I'm not gonna tell you to get over it it's okay I just didn't really feel anything when I did it it's kind of concerning from my standpoint too I uh that's not normal I totally get that should probably be panicking right now or something like that or maybe I am and I just don't know it but the point is I uh I saved you that's gotta count for something. Can I at least take you to the dinner or something? We should probably call the cops first, right? Yeah, probably should report the murder and the circumstances because we can prove everything and it doesn't get all wacky wild. Jeez, that was such a pain in the ass, wasn't it? Questioning for two hours, evidence collection for three, but hey, <laughs> looks like we're together again. Just not in the way I thought it would end up. Well, I know dates outside of police stations aren't exactly the best thing, but maybe we can go somewhere nice. I managed to recover some of my belongings from that house, and <laughs> you're not gonna believe me. I didn't get an ID. So I got a wallet with no ID, plenty of money, and some other strange things, keys to something, and I'm still just as baffled about who I am. Isn't that kind of unique? I know I was talking all that shit about what I was or wasn't. Then I had all this experience that I didn't, and I must have got hit pretty hard on the noggin because I don't remember anything prior to meeting you in that, well, precarious kidnapping situation. Look, I'm not exactly proud that I killed the guy, but I am kind of proud that I rescued us. I, I know it's, it's a touchy subject, but the fact that you're safe, that makes me a little happier. <laughs> so come on. I don't know where this goes, but there's a note in here, and it has an address on it. Want to go on another adventure, or too soon? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Way too soon. Do you mind if I stay at your place for a little while? I mean, after all that chaos, it'd be nice to have something that, you know, a little more predictable. And besides that, I'm not some raving lunatic like that guy, <laughs> am I? Do I seem like a raving lunatic? Come on, you'd be honest with me, right? You probably wouldn't invite me back to your house unless you got a total death wish or like obsession wish or a uh, weird wish. I don't know, a sandwich. But uh, look, look, it doesn't matter 
because I'm going to make sure that you're not in a bad precarious situation, okay? And look, I know it's probably gonna be nightmares about kidnappings for weeks. I know that's how I feel, but it'll be a little less scary if we have each other. If for no other reason, then I can protect you again. Uh, I'm haunting you? What do you mean by that? Oh, in that moment, it was just adrenaline fueled. Don't think too much of it. And besides, all of this, it does make for a good story, don't you think? We escaped kidnapping and whatever that guy had planned for us, which the police won't disclose. <laughs> uh, it's not very comforting, is it? I kind of suck at comforting, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know the first thing about it. I don't even know what my name is. So I'm kind of freaking out here. I'm kind of just yapping so I won't start crying. Kind of deal. You ever feel that? <laughs> It just hits you like a sack of potatoes right in the face. Don't ask me how I know how that feels, but I do. Guess my past has a little bit of a story going on. The one that I just get bits and pieces of, but you know, nothing too terrible yet. <laughs> no uh, other murders that I can think of. I mean, was it really murder? It was self-defense and we were trying to get out of there. I know they said I went a little excessive, but in the end, there was no charges. And, well, it's better to be thorough. Don't want him getting back up and pulling out a gun on us. And like you saw, he did have one on him. So, uh, sorry. I guess that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, let's get on a nicer subject. Like what we should cook for a homemade meal tonight. I probably can cook something up. It might be the first time, uh, oh, you want to take over? Sure. I mean, you don't need to feel like I'm your responsibility, by the way. Regardless of what my past is or present, uh, you don't need to follow up and I'm not even a resident of this country, apparently. That's the part that concerned me the most. Or if I am, I'm not on the database, which is even more concerning, right? What am I? Who am I? It's like I just materialized out of your imagination to save the day. <laughs> You'd tell me if that was the case, right? I'm not just some imaginary uh, guy that you formed. You're not some being that can do that, right? Honey, baby, darling, what do you want me to call you? Uh. My, 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 uh, only person I've ever known? Uh, you, 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 you do have a better explanation than that, right? Great, I'll take that ominous silence as you don't know who I am, and you're probably not gonna tell, since you don't know and all. No, 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 I'm not upset over it. I'm just a little shaken up, you know? I mean, I, I, I did go that far, and it wasn't exactly sunshine and rainbows there. <laughs> Sorry. I just uh, felt like I should apologize, like I did something wrong. You think? Well, thanks. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Not because we barely made it out of there or something like that. It wasn't even that dramatic. It's just after doing something so drastic, I didn't really know what to think of myself. And I wasn't really sure when I looked in the mirror what I'd see, if I'd be some hideous monster or something else. Looking in the mirror for the first time, I, look, I didn't expect myself to look like that. I mean, I'm pretty hot stuff considering, but that was kind of disturbing seeing myself in the mirror with all that blood on me. I don't know if I can get it out of my head so easy. <laughs> Thanks. You're way too kind. And more than kindness, I... I'm thankful. You 
actually seem to give a shit about me, which is more than anybody else I've ever met, which includes only you and that other guy. So I guess it's kind of a, you know, cornered market kind of deal, but you've been good to me and I don't want that to diminish things. You're the only person I've really truly met and under these circumstances, I'd understand if you never want to see me again, but the fact that you're taking me to your house, I, thanks, really, thanks. I don't know how to express myself that well, but I can say that I've really enjoyed your company, albeit for what it's worth, it's been dramatic, but I really meant those things about you being attractive and not really liking lies and stuff like that. It's weird not knowing who I am, but knowing who I feel like I am. You know what I mean? It's probably not something you can relate on, considering you're not an amnesiac right now. But the point is, I can get glimpses into who I've been before I was here. It's just all foggy and messed up and lacks names and anything of real value. It's just feelings. Feelings without any purpose or memory that ties to them. What little memories I can dig up just make me question more. And that's, that's how it is for now. But I think it'll get a little bit better. That's just, you know, my hunch. I'm not alone too and that's kinda big, you know. I know it's happy to say thank you, but truly. Thanks for giving a shit about someone you just met. Well, I mean, mostly just met. Unless you, you're holding out on me and you knew me before. You would have said something, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure I, I was nervous there for a second. You have a damn fine poker face, you know that? You got me on the edge of my seat sometimes. Now, is that just from the trauma of today or is that a usual thing for you? Ah, <laughs> just an average Tuesday, but uh, nothing about today was average, was it? Now it's all nighttimey, and I don't know what to call it. It's kind of nice that we can see the stars from here. Usually don't get that in the city, says my feelings and jumbled memories. I know it's the most credible source you've ever heard, but I can promise you it's got heart and it's probably got, you know, some truth, at least 10% truth, 90% I'm making it up and winging it as a go. Uh, oh, okay. Um, this the place? Okay, uh, sorry to intrude. No, really, sorry to intrude. I don't have that much, but you can have whatever's in my wallet. No idea what this is for. And it looks like there's some weird cryptic stuff. And there's this note that just says you. It's just the letter U. I don't think that has any meaning, but it's starting to make me question who I was. Um, I'm not some kind of crazy, right? <laughs> well, no more crazy than what you've seen. Not that I know of anyways. Yeah, I mean, if you judge me based on my actions, I'm only half crazy. Because, you know, maybe I swung a few too many times on that guy, and you know, that ashtray was just a little bit heavy, but uh, look, I'm not gonna say that what I did was perfect but I'm glad that you're safe. And that was my main concern. I just kept thinking about it. If I didn't do something as hard or as fast, as strong and all those other things, I was gonna regret it and just had a feeling. He was probably a tougher guy than he looked like. He was bigger than me and probably stronger than me. But life never prepares you for the great equalizer of an ashtray to the back of your head. That sounded incredibly less morbid in my head. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. I promise you, I'm not some kind of crazy murderer person. Actually, I can't make that promise, can I? 
look, I, I, I don't think I'm some crazy murderer person. I don't feel like a crazy murderer person type. You know, uh, that doesn't make me feel confident at all. In fact, it just makes me more self-reflective and zen in some weird way. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I mean, probably, yeah. I, I don't have any malicious thoughts going on, if that makes sense. Uh, I just keep thinking of you. I think, wow, you kind of saved my life. Even if I was the one that was doing the hitting. You kind of saved my life in giving me a second chance of not looking at me like I'm some filthy killer guy. I actually have some redeeming qualities, and you even let me inside of your house, so thanks. <laughs> I know it's so lame to cry sometimes, but I can't help it. It makes me tear up. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done since, well, since anything I can remember. <sighs> You're way too kind, and I don't want to disturb that kindness. I want it to be something that you can really get behind and... and <sighs> the words don't come out the way I want them to. I think about them, and I want to say so many things and thank you in a million different ways, but then I just... <sighs> My mind goes blank, and I... Uh... Stand here looking like an idiot. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know you probably won't ever be able to get it out of your mind, because that's how heavy things like this tend to be. But I won't apologize for doing it. <sighs> it was worth it to save you and get out of there and avoid whatever stupid thing they had planned for us. Look. They said the amnesia probably won't go away. Or maybe it will. Maybe doctors don't know what they're talking about. But even if it doesn't, I'm proud of what I did that night. And I'm even more proud that I still get to talk to you and be a part of your life. That, that's the most important thing in the world to me right now. You could say you're my whole world. Because I don't really have a world outside here. And if I do, I'm not sure I want to find out, given the things that I found here. You, you recognize these? Because it's not a language I've ever seen. And it's making me real nervous right now. If I seem like I have a knot in my throat, that's, that's probably why. In my wallet, they, uh did find a hidden area that had some language I've never seen and some things I didn't see. There was nothing but there was a trace of blood that they couldn't really figure out and something else. Look, I should have told you back there and I'm sorry for hiding it, but here, no more secrets. I don't like them to begin with. Just didn't want you to throw me out. After I have some sort of semblance of stability and meaning, you gave me something to grasp onto, and I know that's selfish. It's selfish as hell. You don't even really know me, and I don't really know you. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to, and I hope it doesn't mean you don't want to either. And yeah, I uh, talk a lot when I'm nervous. Sorry. <laughs> Well, thanks for saying that, even if you don't mean it. Even if you lied to me and told me I was a good person when you didn't think I was, I'd still say thank you. Because even if I'm the worst kind of person, even if there's layers to this tomato, uh, it was kind of like an analogy for my heart, but you know, if there's layers to it and I'm some kind of horrible monster, I promise not to eat you. <laughs> if I'm a horrible killer, then I promise to turn myself in. And if I find out that I'm something else, well, I promise to do the right thing by you. I don't exactly know what that would mean, cause you know, still getting to know you and stuff like that, but 
I swear, whatever we discover, whatever happens, as long as you want it, I'll do everything I can to help. You didn't seem like you were in a great situation life-wise either. I don't know much, but I can tell. It's in your eyes. That you're struggling. Now look, I'm not about to make this awkward and tell you to do this or that. It's not worth it because, truthfully, I think things like this have to be done as you learn more about the person you care about and you have to see if they care about you too, right? Well, the thing is, right? I think that I might be able to make your life genuinely better, and that's why I'm kind of excited, because maybe it means I have a chance with a total hottie like you. I, uh, wrong wording, but completely back that wording. Look, you're incredibly attractive, and I don't want to make this about how attractive you are, because I could go on and on, but the point is, if I'm going to make the best out of this situation and mean something to you, I gotta get to know you first, and I don't want to rush that. I don't even know who I am, and maybe through learning who you are, I might learn something about myself too. And I'm not saying anything further than just understanding each other, being safe. If more intruders come, then I'll deal with them. Promise. And if ever there comes a point where you have to run and you can't look back, okay? You leave the difficult situations to me. Too brave? No, not me. Probably me, but it's fine. I don't even know who I am, or if I have family, friends, or if I'm the worst person in the world, so why not? At least I can be something that can help you. I know it's not the words you'd like to hear, it's not even the words that I'd like to say, but until I know who I am, until I know why it was so easy to keep hitting that man after he stopped moving. I don't, I don't know, but I promise if there's even a slight chance that I'm someone bad, I'm not gonna stay here, okay? I promise I'm not going to drag you down with me, I, I, I just, <sighs> I, I want to be something that someone that means something to you in a good way and helps you, not hurts you. I know that there's things in my head that I can't even understand, let alone try to grasp at straws and figure it all out, but maybe this paper is a clue and we can go on some sort of wacky adventure and find out what's going on because if I'm honest, I'm terrified and terrified of what if I was involved in this directly? What if the reason why I don't have my memories is because I was set as some sort of stupid double agent thing? I, I have a lot of things in my head. I did, no, I, I don't think it's that. It's just, <laughs> when you don't know anything and all you got is glimpses, which aren't the most promising things, you get nervous, you get sad. I know, I'm not trying to lose myself in the sauce, just it kind of feels like there's too much sauce, if that makes sense. Yeah, kind of exactly like that. I'm nervous, I'm struggling, I'm a lot of different words I could throw in there and adjectives that I could just add to the end of the sentence for some reason, but... <laughs> What I'm trying to say throughout all this yapping is I won't let myself be the monster under the bed. I won't let myself be the person that drags you down with me if I've got skeletons in my closet, okay? 
No matter who I am, you have to promise. If we get wind of anything bad, you'll drop me. Just kick me out the door, okay? I swear I won't resent you and I won't come back. No matter how messed up my memories are. No matter how horrible of a person I am. And how I feel nauseous just thinking about it. It's a existential crisis. Not my favorite way to spend a Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday is it? I don't know. I can't even think of the day. I just know that I, I don't really want this. You know, the anxiety, the beating of my heart fast because I I don't know what to expect. I, I don't know what to think. I, I'm just full of everything but what I want to be full of. I want to be full of me. I want to be myself and, and feel loved and have a place in the world. I, I don't really have too much on my mind of what I desire most of all. Just... The simple things. <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? After that experience, I can't even flinch at the thought of what happened to us. I, I thought it would bother me, but it didn't. And that scared me. It still scares me. Why is it that I don't feel even slightly worried about it? I just... I feel kind of numb, if I'm honest. Numb and empty and all sorts of things that don't really bode the best. Hmm? Uh, yeah. I wish it was better than that, but there isn't exactly a good explanation, is there? It's just not a normal case of amnesia. I feel like there's something pulling, something tugging. It doesn't feel nice, not even a little bit. But, for now, you've successfully uh, abated my worst fears, and that would be being alone and dealing with all this. I mean, it's one thing to deal with it when you're, you know, not alone. It's a completely other to be all alone on the streets, not knowing who you are, probably having a dark past and not knowing exactly why, or even what, or who you are. You know, just the usual. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, almost let it overwhelm me. Almost. Not quite, though. And uh, that's thanks to a certain someone who's way too cute for who you are. And uh, I understand about boundaries and stuff. Gotta really start simple. And I figured probably the most important thing is to start as friends. Um... Yeah, I don't know the first thing about being friends or more than friends. I just know I'd like to be someone to you. Look at me. Really look. Can you tell me if I look like I would be worth that? I mean it. I don't just want you to be nice to me. I, I, I want you to be honest. If I don't deserve this and I, I, I don't deserve to feel this safe or happy, you just have to say so, okay? If I'm overstepping boundaries, if I'm making mistakes that I, I, I don't really understand and don't really know what to make of, then... Maybe you can help me. And somehow, some way, we can figure out what that actually means. <laughs> Fancy words put together, strung along, sometimes feel like they have no meaning at all. <laughs> I hate that so much. Can't even really put it into words. I just don't like the feeling at all. But... Putting that aside. Thank you. Again. For trying to be something to me. I know I probably talked in several circles. You don't mind? What kind of reaction is that? I th you're supposed to be critical of strange men. You just mean not 
be so kind to them. <laughs> you know, if I was the bad guy, you'd be in so much danger right now. <laughs> you don't think I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I'm glad at least you think so. <laughs> that, that's great news. I mean, I don't want to be the bad guy. I mean, is there a bad guy that wants to be a bad guy? I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm just scared, okay? <laughs> really scared. Scared and ashamed that I might be the biggest scaredy cat around, because I don't know why. I, I, it didn't feel anything. I didn't. The only time I felt something was when I looked at you. And when I looked at that guy, he was just a nuisance in the way that was going to hurt you, and I thought of him hurting you, him throwing you into some horrible life. I got scared. I didn't know what to do, I just, I acted without thinking, so if I'm some kind of monster, you just have to promise me you'll let that monster go when the time comes. Don't try and save me. If I'm a lost cause, okay? If I'm someone who causes suffering or brings misfortune, you have to promise me, and I mean this. Look at me. Don't look away right now, okay? Look at me. If I turn out to be the worst, if I ever betray you in any way, then don't look back and get rid of me and never, ever, ever think of me again. Okay? See? That wasn't so hard. And while well, you didn't exactly verbally promise, your eyes said you understood and you nodded and that's progress. And I know I'm making unreasonable requests and I'm the guest in your house right now. Nice place, by the way. It's... Uh, quaint and cozy and really nice. I like it. But my point remains. I will try my best and do everything I can not to bring you down. Whether I go down swinging or not. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that hug. <laughs> I'm still more shaken up than I gave myself credit for. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> On the uh, exterior of cold, unfeeling killer, I uh, have that soft, chewy inside that just gets me every time. By every time, I mean the only time that's happened. Look, I know I'm a mystery man with nothing to lose. Now I feel like I do have something to lose. <laughs> you silly. Because I don't want to lose this small glimpse of happiness because it's the first time in my life. Well, second time. I felt anything resembling the feeling that I know of because maybe I was not that happy before. Maybe there's a reason I forgot everything. Maybe this is my second chance, I don't know. And because I don't know, my mind endlessly rummages through nothing. <laughs> A collective nothing, trying to piece together the pieces that don't exist. <laughs> Thanks. I mean... For giving a shit about me and... Actually making me feel like I'm at home. <laughs> I don't even know what that word's supposed to mean, but it feels like right now. Even if we survive off instant ramen and <laughs> college regrets, <laughs> maybe traumatized memories, I don't know. I didn't really think it through, I just I fill the air because I'm nervous that if it gets silent, I'll be disappointing you somehow. No, really. Then 
would it be too much to ask if I could hold your hand for maybe just a little bit of stability? I promise I'm not hitting on you. Well, may maybe if you want me to, but it's more than that. Just knowing I'm not alone and that someone cares about me, you, you have no idea how much that means to me. And if it sounds like I'm a shaky mess, no, you just imagine it. I'm not. <laughs> I, I totally am, but don't tell me that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks. Thanks, truly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Maybe I can make something of this. <laughs> That isn't just rescuing. I want to make you smile. No matter what it means for the rest of the world. <laughs> Pretty ominous, right? But I told you I hate lies. So I'll tell you, since we met, it felt like you were special. And I have no idea why. Not even a single clue. But now I think I've got an inkling. <laughs> You've got a big heart and you're just the perfect bunch of things put together that just make me feel at home. I don't need another reason. I don't even need to know who I am to know that you're something special. <laughs> So at least take that from a random stranger who's going to be living with you that you're way more than you think you are. Okay. Here's hoping I can do something more to make you smile than just yap my head off. Well, nice to meet you. And thank you. Thank you deeply. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. <laughs>